Hey y'all, I'm here with Emily Ciola. She's my guest today. This is The Lash Check Tales and my name is Destiny where I interview uh, up and coming lash artists once a week. All right, so I've been watching your work on Instagram. <laughs> she does such pretty volume sets. She's only been lashing for seven months and seven she's months. only 19 years old. So that mm -hmm. is very exciting that her sets look so nice. Your Instagram looks so like professional. Even Thank your setup you. here with your um, with your flower wall it's and stuff really is pretty. so pretty. Um, and then you do like colors and sometimes yeah, too. Yeah, I do. I've tried doing the glitter. Yeah. Yeah, like she gets really like artsy with her sets and everything. So um, go ahead and shout out your IG name. Vanity Lashes by M. <laughs> <laughs> so that's easy enough to remember. All right. So I know you're new at lashes. You've been yeah. lashing for seven months. Yeah. What has been your biggest struggle so far? Just pick one. In the beginning, it's like 20, so. Isolation. I, oh, mm, yeah. That can be Isolation pretty difficult. Isolation because some girls have like a thousand lashes and you're just like, <laughs> mm -hmm. like, girl. It is very hard Isolation. In the I'm still learning that. Like, yeah. That takes, I think some lash experts say it takes over a year to perfect. I think it takes over a year yeah, too. Yeah, so that's and what I'm doing. It depends on, I know you're busy right now, yeah. so you'll get plenty of practice and it mm -hmm. comes along, but isolation is really hard because you think that really you've hard. seen it all and then you get some crazier lashes mm -hmm. and it gets crazier and crazier. <laughs> or they're like super curly. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I know you just finished cosmetology school. Yes, what was your God. favorite thing that you learned? Honestly, when I started lashes, like hair was like out the picture, mm -hmm. but probably just doing hair color. Hair color is your favorite color. thing? Yes, I love hair color. Oh, man. And cutting hair. I'm fast at cutting hair. I feel like that's hard, too. I know, but I think because my mom's been doing it so long, I just am like, quick. Yeah, you kind of already yeah, have really a little quick. bit of like I'm background so information. Mm -hmm. How how much of an influence did your mom have with you getting into the beauty industry? Um, She's been doing like hair literally since I can't remember, since I was five. So I grew up like my hair always being done, braided, hairspray, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And I did dance recitals a lot, so my mom always did my hair and my makeup. And then... She let me start doing makeup in sixth grade, and it kind of just went up from there. So I know Literally. you told me 17-ish, you kind of... Yeah, so when I was 17, I worked as a receptionist in a salon for a year and a half, and then I went into assisting for my mom for a year. So I have a lot of, like, background in customer service, like, mm -hmm. a lot of it. So I've seen it all. So I know that you have to take your cosmetology mm -hmm. test. Are you feeling... How are you feeling about that? <laughs> are you nervous? Yes, because on the cosmetology, like the state board, there's a lot of like chemical services. I hate learning about the mm -hmm. the bonds and like the side bonds, all that. Cut Wait, so why did you decide to do cosmetology instead of just doing esthetician to get it over with and mm -hmm. you know? Okay, so because when I originally wanted to do hair when I started cosmetology school mm -hmm. and then I learned lashing halfway through and then I was like, oop. I like this, but I can all, cosmetology covers everything. So if I want to quit lashing, I can go to waxing, facials, hair, makeup, nails. I true. can do it all. Very true. So. Yeah, because as a tissue, you really just learn how to wax and facials. Facials, that's kind of it. I think it. some of them, like if you're like advanced esthetician or something, they'll teach you lashes. Yeah, and you can like, you have to build from yes. the esthetician mm -hmm. to where cosmetology will teach you, like even nails too, right? Yep. Yeah, you get nails thrown in there, so you can bounce I'm, around. Yeah, I learned like everything. Yeah. Um, what was the most, I guess, difficult experience doing cosmetology school? Probably the girls. Um, just because I'm about like lifting up people uh -huh. and like supporting people. Like, I'm very supportive. <laughs> um, and then I had like a downfall with some people like towards the end, which I didn't want no bad blood anyways, but mm -hmm. definitely like getting along with other women is like really hard in this industry. Yeah. Because very catty unfortunately you know and you know they say that about hair salons oh hair God. salons have a bad rep for that Ooh, when i was receptionist the tea i heard girl oh my yeah. God. People and were everybody is consistent everyone says mm -hmm. the same thing and i don't know like i work at a, a lash studio um yeah. a franchise one and it's not catty there no i think and it's i don't really know if it's because it's lashes because when you're lashing nobody's really paying attention to nobody you else yeah you can't really you're just like, focused mm -hmm. and i feel like it would be the same way same way with facials and yeah, waxing. Yeah, so after school, I learned never to do business with anybody <laughs> but yourself. So <laughs> that was the lesson I learned. So I'm just sticking by myself. So what? how old were you when you just like definitely knew like, yeah, I'm gonna do cosmetology or beauty industry? 17. Oh, so, oh 17, not before then? Not like five, six, no, seven? No, cause eight. I was always that kid. Like my mom did hair mm -hmm. when I was younger, but I wanted to be a lawyer. Then I wanted to be a nurse for a really long time. Oh gosh. And I was like, I'm not following my <laughs> mom's foot. But yeah, I was like, down. I'm not following my mom's footsteps. I'm not gonna be that basic kid. Mm -hmm. And then I fell in love with it. So 
and then I'm here. <laughs> right. Do you ever think that maybe you'll go back and like try to be a nurse one day or no. something like that? No, it's, Pro- it's I'm not. literally, I love doing <laughs> beauty. I like making people feel good about themselves. So mm-hmm. that's like my favorite part of what I do. All right. So your last journey kind of just began, but mm-hmm. if you can like take us back to the beginning and the steps that you went through uh, and yes. where you're at now. <laughs> so I started lashing from a friend at the time. She taught me for free. And then she told me where to go get certified, so I got certified. Um, and then I just started doing lashes. Like, I did only classic sets when I first started. Like, yeah, only classic. Too. And so she told me, like, it's really hard to do fans and volume because you have to learn to isolate really good before you do that, which I learned a nasty lesson from that one. Mm-hmm. Um, so I got really – I took a break from lashing because I was really honestly, like, not feeling it. I was not yeah. happy with where I was at the time. And then I picked it up accidentally back in March because um, my sister – she was cosmetology school with me her one of her mm-hmm. friends in her class was like i want my lashes done and i did them and i posted them on my beauty page not intentionally like i just posted it and i charged her 40 bucks which covers just product yeah um and everyone was like you do lashes can i get my lashes done like they loved them and it was like a they, trickle down yeah. effect so like literally when i first started my lashes were so sparse and not full all the way to the inner corner and then mm-hmm. once i did her set back in march it was all the way to the inner corner full and i just like mm-hmm. picked it up fast and, and it was just a downward like it kept going how um how long is it taking you to do your sets now? Um, For let's just say classic and then the volume. Does I anyone even get classic from no, you? I have See, actually. See, she is so like niche down no, to where people it's. Don't ask classic. She, she sh- posts all these like pretty volume sets, mm-hmm. so I bet you're just drawing in I those kind of clients. So yeah. my hybrid volumes take me to two and a half to three hours okay. max. That's like not three. bad. No. Mm, that's not bad. No, and you haven't been lashing that long. Because some people, like, their lashes are crazy. You got to sit there for a minute and, like, get every hair. Yeah, so. and it's stressful. It is very stressful. <laughs> You're like, like, oh, my God, God done yet? I'm already at three hours. Like, uh, you, oh, my God. You don't like, want to go over coming, three. Like, yeah. So. Yeah. Um, all right. So you started there, and then you kind of got busier after you did that girl's mm-hmm. lashes. And everybody started getting yep. referrals. So how old is your sister? We're twins. What? <laughs> oh my god! We're twins. I so. freaking love twins. Oh my god, we're a minute apart. She's older. I'm not. Wait, older. Do you, are y'all identical? Fraternal? Do y'all look the same or no. how? Oh, you don't. We both think okay. We're best friends. Like she's uh-huh. more like strawberry blonde red. Yeah. Than, like dark red. I always so ask all red has this. Are one of your parents red haired or no? no so you're that I, random my, one? Both my parents have dark brown hair. Uh huh. Which is crazy. Like mm-hmm. my dad's hair is dark brown. It looks black. And yeah. My mom's just dark brown, but she puts highlights. Mm hmm. So. Both sides of my parents' family have red jeans and twins. So oh, okay. my mom accidentally got twins. Like my, they were gonna have one baby, ended up with two. So <laughs> accidentally, yeah, yeah, literally was not expecting. So oh, that's so cool. I know, girl, I love red hair. I don't know why people say what they say oh about red God. hair. It's, I love it. I love people it. People so have pretty. been like so upset with my hair. So obsessed. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I love red hair, <laughs> and that's why I always ask because there's some people who they don't know anybody. They cannot think back to like a living relative who has yeah, red hair they're like, just a yeah. random red but yeah. you you know that it does run on both sides so that's cool um all right you're here in this part of your last journey you're about to start expanding you want to get a um a yeah, salon sweet. suite or sweet, some sort of space like that, to do yeah. this so what's your next step with this whole thing uh, so i'm working on a website Ooh, nice. I'm also going to be working on online courses for future lash techs mm-hmm. because when I started doing lashes, people kept asking me, do you teach, do you teach, do you teach? I was like, no. Mm-hmm. And then I taught two girls that were my mom's client. Oh, I did see for you free, a little bit. Uh-huh. And I fell in love with it and they picked it up like this. Like I never had somebody pick up tweezers and just go for it. Mm-hmm. And then even the other girls I've taught after that, I've taught about four or five girls now mm-hmm. and they all pick it up and they love my teaching. So I guess I'm just good at explaining, but I am dyslexic. So... <laughs> I think I'm just easier at explaining like how to do it. Right. Um, so I'm going to be doing an online course and I'm coming out with a lash chart. Nice. So I'm behind the scenes of a lot of things. So yeah, she's going to be working 22 hours a day with two hours of sleep yep. um, to get all this accomplished. Mm-hmm. That's so good though. I'm glad that you have like these goals Everyone set. is very like, how will you have this mindset at 19? Okay. I love it because I'm like, I don't know. I just like, mm-hmm. I was never the kid in high school to like go party or anything. I was just focused on getting my diploma and getting out of high school. And after I literally graduated high school, my I was in cosmetology school. So I didn't waste no time. <laughs> in ninth grade, who were you? 
<laughs> I was this like bubbly little girl that like talked to everybody. I was friends with everybody. Uh-huh. And then like after sophomore year, I just kind of minded my business because drama, like high school is just drama. Oh, okay. And so I only, I literally kept my headphones in. My junior year, I did like 10 online classes, got all my credits. And then my So you kind of went like, you I, went from bubbly to introvert. Like, all right, I'm over this. I just want to get out. Yep. I'm going to do a lightning round of questions, okay? okay. So just answer them as quick as you can. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> do it. All right. If you could live in space or under the sea, which would you do? Under the sea. Under the sea and why? Uh, I just like the ocean a lot. Yeah, me too. So I don't so know. Cool. It scares the shit. It, it, there's a lot of things people don't know, so I would love to find out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. TikTok or IG? IG. Volume or mega volume? Mega. Favorite glue? Uh, it's the Pro Care. It's on Amazon. $20. $20 on Amazon. That's pretty good. Full sets or fills? Full sets. I don't play by no fills. I hate fills. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Bonder or Nano Mister? Bonder. Starbucks or Dunkin'? Starbucks. I knew you were going to say that because I've been watching your stories at the Starbucks. Oh, I love Starbucks. <laughs> What's your favorite um, drink at Starbucks? So I get a venti iced caramel macchiato, blonde espresso, four pumps of white mocha, and extra caramel drizzle. Wait, is I, all this one? or yeah, is this? I never, what? I never used to be that white girl that ordered like 20 different items in her drink, but I found this <laughs> on Pinterest and fell in love. Oh my God. What does it taste like? Girl, it's Everything? Heaven. It's like a sweeter coffee. It's not like super strong. I uh-huh. hate strong coffee. Yeah. Ew. Well, with you working 22 hours a day, you're going to need some strong coffee. Yeah, now. I do. I need that bonus <laughs> espresso. So. For real. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for so letting welcome. me come here and everything. We, we met on Instagram. Yeah, we did. So this is our first time meeting in person. It's so nice to meet somebody who's so young and has such a good work ethic. Oh, and you. her work is so pretty, too. I love it. Her work is so creative. Her lashes look so nice. Like, seriously, for her, I didn't know that she hadn't been lashing for that long. And they look, they're so dark. They look Aww, uniform. They look you. nice. They look good. So just keep doing it. You're already this good at this age. And you know what I think is kind of weird? And I noticed this from teaching people how to lash too. Some people just pick up the tweezers and they go. Mm-hmm. And they automatically like, this like a natural kind of talent it's like they a, have. No, like one girl literally picked it up and immediately put a lash on the dummy. I was like. I did not do that. I was blown away. I did not do that. I was blown away. Like, I, I struggled. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know if you see my first set. It was horrible. <laughs> my sister was Everybody's like, she person. thought it looked so good. And she, I, she went to school like that. She's like, you really let me walk to school like that. I was like. Oh, your sister yeah. was your first model? I bet she She's allergic like, to the glue. Oh, um, no. Yeah, so she can't get free lashes. And neither can my mom. So Is she allergic too? Yeah. Dang. I'm not. Um, I know. I don't know what happened with me. I was allergic to begin. Oh, no, no. I wasn't allergic six months in of getting mm-hmm. lash extensions i started getting a little red a little itchy a little swollen yeah and i just dealt with it i was like i'm not my taking mom, them off. Same. but then i took them off got them back on i've used so many glues all different lash techs and then one day out of nowhere i don't have a problem anymore so i'm glad Miracle. my body changed again Miracle. i know i've been cured because god knows <laughs> i'm not taking these lashes off Girl, i don't even get lashes when i'm lash tech yeah, well, you don't have time, really. Though. I don't. You're have busy. Time. You're I'm so like busy. I'm so busy. And my days off, I'm still busy. Like I'm still doing stuff. Yeah, always. Because like, you have to keep gym. working. And on I keep everything. I clean like every week. So yeah, girl, I go. I take out all these stores <laughs> and disinfect them. With shit I need to do that tonight. Ooh. Girl, I hate doing it. I have this. It's from. Um, I got this. She has goods. like the drawer. Yes, that's where I got mine from too. I love this one. The little drawers that you can use. It's like a caddy, and it it's has a bunch so of different great. drawers. They are. They're really They're good. They're your best friend. Don't don't play with that. And then you have the little top that you can work on too. Yeah, so and I put nice. the dental bib so everything is like mm-hmm. clean. And I put a dental bib on my hellos too, because people. Come oh out yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh girl, we gotta do nightmare client. Go. I as too. quick as I you have, can. I have two. I have two. <laughs> my first one, she. I did this beautiful full set. It took me three and a half hours. She came late at night too. She came at like six, and I finished. And she left when it was dark. So I took all day on them. Mm-hmm. She's like, I'm going to Miami because my boyfriend has, you know, whatever. I was like, okay, cool. So our boyfriend paid for the set. Mm-hmm. And she goes, I tell her when she leaves, and I regret saying this. I would always say this when I first started. It was, you have 72 hours to tell me if you have any fallout. Mm-hmm. So the Friday, literally the third day, she texts me, girl, I have a lot of fallout. And I'm like, well, did you do anything? Because I did a, a right. several other girls that week. I had no issues with them. Uh-huh. Their sets were still on. Yeah, because sometimes you know. And then sometimes no, it's just I like, I can tell when someone's what? lying. So yeah. that's like the thing with our industry. We can we can tell. Mm-hmm. So this girl literally texted me, like, blowing me up. I want a refund, this and that. And I literally sent her a picture of the contract. No refund under any circumstance. Because I can't get that product returned. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't give her. I was going to compensate it. And then she told me she took them off. I'm like, then that's uh, not a free fill. That's literally like a full set. No. I'm not yeah, then it's like set. another that's free a full of my set. Money, like yeah. my time and my money. So mm-hmm. that was one of them. But she went to Miami and she told me, oh, I wasn't doing anything. I just stayed in the hotel for three days. 
in Miami, girl, mm. you know you out in the pool at the beach. You know what you're doing. And Don't it's already me. super humid in the whole state of Florida. And yeah, when you go so down there, it's way I was worse like, girl, than Central play with Florida. Me. And then this other girl was a loyal client of mine. Mm -hmm. She just really, she was so mean to me. So I was like, we have to break up. Don't disrespect. How do you do people. a lash breakup? Um, respectfully, I just like I don't think I'm the last check for you. Like it's respect. Like do you text them this? Yeah. I won't tell them in person. Uh huh. Um, usually because after I like think about like should I just keep them, but I just don't have the time for people. Like, and also are, she is home based, so she kind of has respect. to like. It's the equals yeah. respect. You gotta respect people in the service industry. You can't treat them because you think, uh -huh. oh, I paid for it. Yes, you did pay for it, but I tried compensating. If you don't want to be compensated, then we can't. Yeah, you friends. gotta, yeah, you gotta cut, you know, gotta cut them go. off. Yeah, Your yeah. cut off game gotta be strong. Yeah, sorry about that. Like you just gotta go. Because <laughs> they, they'll drive you crazy. They do. You know, and this girl, like, yes, like I was dreading doing her lashes anyways, and I was just like, oh, yeah, it's time to break up. And when you work for yourself, you shouldn't dread. No, you know, this is you not have supposed to be work to you. This should be like yeah. something you're proud to do. And so many people are like, they can see it. So I'm just like, mm -hmm. don't treat me like that, please. For real. Respect. That's why policies are a thing. That's true. That you always have to have your policy. And people are like, why do you have all these policies? Because a lot of people. All lash checks are doing it. It's not yeah. anything Same with new. nail techs and hairstylists now. It's like Yeah, because nail techs got to start doing it. Because usually nail techs are just like, they take people, take people, take people. But yeah you know no people are disrespectful you gotta be careful it's just a mutual thing mm -hmm. all so. right you have any last words for any not even if they want to be a last check let's say if they want to be a last check or just get in the beauty industry and they're young do it what because a lot of people <laughs> will literally tell you you're not gonna make a lot of money I personally worked with a bunch of hairstyles that have made over 100K. Last sex I've seen made uh, over 100K. So many people. So people are like, oh, you're not going to make money doing what you love. Yes, you will. Yes. And don't make it ever feel like work. If it feels like work, you're not, you need to and step you're, back and rethink And you're what not going to like it. Yep. That's yeah. That's so, so true. That is very true. That's something I've already learned when I was 17, like seeing my mom. So just kind of love it. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for this interview. I appreciate um, you for letting me come here Thank once you. again. Y'all, please like this video and share it. And if you want to yes. see more videos like this, I will be posting. I hope I'll be able to interview somebody once a week. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make your lash life easier. And you can follow Vanity Lash by M. By M. And follow on her as well. Her work is beautiful as well. Thank you. Vanity. Thank you.